Welcome back. In the last video, we showed you how we put the braking system together, how we put the discs back on, um, and we put the calipers back on, and the new brake lines. Well, in this video, we run into a bit of drama, as you can see. We went out to test the boat, and things didn't go as planned. So, before we get into that, we'll show you a few of the things we've done. We got the wheel sandblasted, they look totally different now. So you can see the pitting on the aluminium on the rims. And we actually got all of that removed. We trialed it to see if they would come up okay. And they weren't as bad as I thought. So they went off to Thomas Down Sandblasting and they got all of the um, paint off and they were in a fairly good condition. So. They will actually, you will actually see now how good they actually came up. So that's them there in the back of the car. And we got brand new tyres fitted. And you can actually see how good they've come up once the sandblasting occurred and once they've been repowder coated. Um, so they look really good. We put light truck tyres on the uh, rims because it is a heavy boat and it does have a lot of weight to it. They were fully balanced and ended up putting those together. And basically we re-put them on the trailer and it went pretty well from there. Once we started to tow it, then we started to run into the problems. All right, so you're gonna actually see, we're just, gonna, just about to go out for a little spin on it. And then we had to do a few repairs we had ran into some drama on the way to the boat ramp and then we had a little uh, spin on the boat then after that we had to make some temporary repairs to get the boat home so we'll see how we go now So the boat test went well, except for when we had to go home. So the tyres were rubbing on one side, they were rubbing together and causing smoke. And we knew something wasn't right and the trailer was groaning and making a lot of, a lot of noise. So what we worked out was that there was something wrong with the springs. You could see here that there's no, the gap is not the same on both sides. So something was drastically wrong with one of the springs. What we found was the spring had moved forward. The whole axle had moved forward. We had to tie it back with a ratchet strap to get the boat back home. So at this point, 
we started to find out what the problems were. Okay, so I've pulled the spring out. It's going to show you exactly what went wrong. See that eyelet there? This part snapped off there. That's meant to be like that. Right, and then the nylon bush goes in between. What had happened, this had moved forward once this snapped, and the spring, the weight of the boat, pushed this forward, and the back axle had moved 40 millimeters forward and it was touching the other tire. And that's what I couldn't figure out at the time, but we ended up figuring it out once we got the boat off. And now we're in the process of replacing all the springs. Now, if we have a look at that, you can actually see where the rust is. It starts about there. This has been broken for a while, halfway through. And when we took it out, it finally finished it off. So it's time. It's time to replace all the springs. So that's our new job I'm going to order the springs and we'll get that started and you know I didn't even try undoing the U-bolts because look how rusted they are so it, this needs a going over as well so we're going to just do all four all four springs hangers bolts um, yeah so we'll go over the whole lot so you can now see that we have a brand new set of springs we and comparing them to the old springs they are do look a lot heavier gauge and slightly wider and they are really good we basically got them for a fair price as well but we're not just replacing the springs we are replacing everything all the u-bolts the fish plates the nuts we are putting brand new hangers. We're putting brand new. Compare, look at the old nuts compared to the the new new ones. Also, we're putting stainless steel bolts to hold all the springs in place. So we're just putting a whole new system. Now you can actually see what I've done there. I've put grease on the back contact surface. That stops friction between the frame and the. Um, spring itself and it helps it slide along a little bit as well all right so it takes a bit of jiggling to get it in place but you can actually see it gets done
So at this point, we made sure everything was tightened properly and the wheels were put back on the, on the trailer. Then we commenced the interior. So we started by making, uh, by purchasing the new fabric, the blue and white stripe fabric, and you can see the total difference it makes. And once we cha uh, changed all the cushioning, we put them all back in the boat and you'll see that on our next video how we put it all together and that sort of thing. So subscribe if you want to see future content. We have a lot more coming up and the next one is going to be a really good one. You can actually see the transformation of the inside of the, the boat itself.